I very much wanted to have a Hans and Gretel that was relevant to people today. I wanted the production to come from a collaboration with an education unit. So we did a project for children, we did a project for adults, we did a multi-generational project. What was so interesting was so many common themes coming back and that made me realise that those themes are really important. It's one of those age-old tales that applies to any generation and any time. You know when you're in a forest and you look up and the trees are sort of overhanging and you can just see light through the, through the trees? That was the sort of look I wanted to get and then bring it down. So as if you're looking up and in, you know, from a small person's point of view, the whole thing's set in that. And then all of the other elements like the house, that Hans and Gretel's house and, and the street scenes and everything are set in that, in that forest. Going to the workshops at Scottish Opera where they're making all the sets, that's fantastic to see everything that's been, you know, in my head and little drawings and models and things suddenly made to scale and, and, and the size that they're going to be. And then obviously costume fittings that have been happening over the past few weeks. It's really lovely to see those on the dancers and, and be able to sort of play and get them fitted. It's been brilliant being up here. Everyone's been so friendly and helpful and, and you know, obviously everyone wants to make a really beautiful show and a really good show and it's, yeah, it's been really, really nice. I've really enjoyed it. <laughs>